Oh, rudder, aileron. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I got Trent here, and uh, you're a sophomore, right? Yeah. So you still got two more years. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, uh, we finally have a nice day, and uh, the the months of working inside and getting this thing all figured out. Um, you went through probably how many different drawings? Three. Three different drawings to get to where we are at right now with the F14 Tomcat. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done um, in terms of uh, some cosmetic looks, but we at least have a prototype in hand that we can come out and test with. Um, and we're going to, to try the uh, swept or the uh, swept wings back, so you can see the wings are back now. And we tested it last week, and it didn't go so well when it was in this shape here. And the reason for it is because we didn't have enough control surfaces on there. We just had it the straight elevator, and then we had the ailerons only working on the ailerons. When the wings were when the wings came out. It was obvious and we were right when we uh, guessed that it would fly better. It did fly better with the wings out and then having these back just elevators. So what we did was is we split this, put it into aileron, split these and put them in the elevator and made the whole thing an aileron. So just like all of our other planes, we're hoping that this one now will give us the control that we need um, in this mode here and we hope that it also gives us the control that we need. Um, Doing it the other way too. So, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So in this mode here, when Trent had this mode and we did the gliding test, we had no weights on it. If we perfect, just like this. Um, and he's got on the bottom two different markings for CG. And so we have this back part is when the wings are swept back. That will be that's where that CG is. And then when the wings are swept forward, we have to then land it, move the battery forward to where we have our CG here. He's got 3D pins right now. Um, and we're going to try to come up with something a little bit different so we don't have to fabricate 3D pins. And we'll see, uh, see how it goes from there. All right. I wish you luck. So far, so far, so good. Rolls pretty good. I'm at uh, high speed. All right, so at low speeds, like what we thought this would would do, is it's a little more squirrely, right? Because there's not a whole lot of surface area. And now, when I go faster, if you want to check that out tomorrow, this is now connected to the walk back. It's a fast one. I think we should, uh, So you guys did? Well, no. I said take off the battery. Here's your silly. Okay. Well, no, this is take off the battery. All right, you want to take out that one? We're rolling. This tent.
based on last week, it was right here. So you just gotta move the battery forward. This is kind of like your trainer mode. So the idea is that you should be able to fly this thing. Theoretically. Okay, so same function. Um, we didn't change anything up. Just move the battery forward and and uh, swept the wings forward. Now, Trent, you tried you tried to do uh, a servo, right? Uh, can you give me another tip? Did you try the servo method in the middle to to swing these out, and swing them back? Oh uh, yeah, we had a plan to do. I thought we had a plan, but we changed it. It was pretty pretty difficult, and the plane yeah. got started to get pretty heavy and. Um, it got really messy looking and mm -hmm. it, it ended up being uh, proving more problematic than, than anything else. But you know, if I'm thinking that if we do release these, they'd be cool to see if our viewers can figure that out. You want to pick yours up? Yeah. Figure that out and get the servo in there to, to do it. The only thing that you have to take into consideration is, and what we weren't going to try to figure out was when the wings sweep forward, your CG changes. So how are you going to get that battery to move forward or how do you get that extra weight to get to the front of the plane um, when the wings go forward? So, All right, let's try this one. Okay, this thing's almost on its last leg. It's been through so many tests. All right, heads up, Jake. <laughs> Stable. Wow, well, Trent, this actually works pretty good. Okay, so I go like round and a half throttle. I'm gonna give this to you. Look at that, and you can go so slow. I'm gonna get you a little higher in the air. Now let's see the ailerons in this one. Not too bad. Atta boy, good job. What do you think? That's fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stay away from Jake. Jake's, Jake's flying FPV out there. Oh, catching the wind. Nice. Good job, Trent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dude, you got a plan. You got a plane. You got a product. Good for you. Except for the fact that you crashed it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Only thing you broke was a prop. That's it. Everything else is in good shape. Um, with some dirt in it. Dirt in, yeah. <laughs> but what'd you think? I mean, before you kind of, I think, I think it looks like you lost a little orientation. I think if we yeah, had it spray I, painted I and, where it was. yeah. Um, but what'd you think? I thought it was pretty, it was easier to fly than the last plane I flew. It was yeah, fun. I didn't have to take over at all until until I tried to take over back there. Um, but yeah, it seemed like you were kind of whipping around and doing what you wanted to do with it, and mm -hmm. definitely the trainer part. Um, and then when it folds back, it's the standard Mesa jet that we're all accustomed to. It's fast and very agile. 
Um, no, this is really cool, Trent. You did a you know awesome job with this. Working hard at the CAD. Um, you kind of started the idea last year, and then yeah. uh, kind of took a break from it. It's one of those things where you sometimes you just need to take a break, you know. And then once we kind of came back, we, you know, we kind of had a new uh, plan of action for it, and you did great, dude. It looks like a Tomcat. So what what's next? What do you have to do now? Um, uh, I think we're gonna finish. Uh, fixing all some cosmetics okay and then we're gonna mass produce it sweet so you're gonna release the plans to the public and all that yep awesome so the MF Tomcat is probably I would say maybe a couple more Wednesdays away um, from being finalized and then making it look pretty yeah. doing our maiden showing all you guys uh, what this is capable of I'm gonna try to make one too so that we can have two of them up in the air flying one jet formation one um, out like this and uh, we'll go from there so you guys can have this kit too available but Trent pretty good job man excellent thanks for watching